Hello, today I wanted to talk to you uh, about a condition called juvenile macular degeneration. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before. Um, also known as Stargardt's, Stargardt's disease. Uh, it's a condition uh, like age-related macular degeneration in a lot of ways, functionally, but it, uh, it occurs in younger age. Uh, so what it is, it's actually a condition where the center part of your vision, called the macula, is affected. So if we could think of our retina like the film of a camera, so your eyeball's camera, uh, the film of the camera is the retina. The retina is actually composed of two parts. It was actually designed to have the central vision right here to see color, detail, recognize faces, um, and operate under kind of moderate to high light conditions, uh, high illumination conditions. Whereas the peripheral retina, all everything outside of that is used for uh, being able to uh, keep our balance, walk through areas, not bump into things. Uh, it helps uh, just in general uh, everyday walking around. Doesn't do much for color vision. Doesn't do much for detail vision, um, but obviously still very useful. Uh, it operates best in moderate to lower uh, illuminations. But Stargardt's is a condition where that central vision is affected at an early age, sometimes called a cone rod dystrophy. That's another kind of common term for it because it affects the cones first and then it can affect the rods after that. But because it affects that central vision, it's going to cause issues with color perception, uh, details, recognizing faces, reading. But most people, when they get it, they are seen by the retina specialist, their pediatric ophthalmologist, pediatric optometrist, and that's pretty much it. The ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist or optometrist uh, says, okay, everything's stable, uh, and I'll see you next year. And the person is leaving that exam thinking there's nothing else can be done, but there's tons of stuff that can be done. Uh, first of all, beyond uh, uh, the uh, vision impairment program that a person may have at school, if you're homeschooled, uh, there's things that can be done as far as uh, helping a person see better and what can be done. Everything as simple as a, as a handheld magnifier, a great magnifier, and it's just not about going to a, a store or going on Amazon and picking out a magnifier because people on a routine basis will come to my office and say, you know, I get the biggest magnifier I could find and it doesn't work at all. It's not about the size because the bigger the magnifier, the weaker it is. So you want to get a magnifier that's matched to your prescription, to your eyes, to your level of vision. And that's where a optometrist or ophthalmologist that specializes in vision rehab and low vision comes in handy. They'll find out what vision you have, what level of vision you have, what you want to do with it, and then we can prescribe the proper magnifier or even the proper magnifying glasses. If a person wants to be able to read, they want to be able to see the computer uh, and they're having trouble, they don't have to necessarily rely on a handheld magnifier. There are special telescopic eyeglasses that can be prescribed. Yeah, they do look kind of funny and they look kind of ugly, but boy, do they do the job. And it's not something you have to wear all the time. Something like this can be used to uh, for a certain tool, like or as a certain as a tool to see the computer or whatever you may want to do, and that's your tool. So you now start to develop this little toolbox of things to help you function on a daily basis. In my toolbox, I have my handheld magnifier. I have a, another magnifier that I need for something maybe smaller. I have my bioptic telescopic eyeglasses for uh, certain things. I have if I need to see a nice wide field of vision of reading. For reading, I have my spectacle mounted microscope. So various things like this can help a great deal for different activities. So a child should not have to just suffer with poor vision if they have star guards or uh, as an older adult or a teenager. I have some teens that just love this device called an Ocutech. Great little high tech device, great little device for being able to see in the distance. So you put it on and with this device, you can actually see in the distance you can actually focus it and by focusing i can focus from anything from about 12 13 inches on out to infinity and see it much better uh it'd be like the little girl i had the other day she had been to the zoo many times in fact didn't like to go to the zoo because she couldn't see it due to her star guards uh, condition and now she went with her dad the other day with the architect and saw the faces of the of the bears and, and saw the animals and she was just crying. It's just it's a beautiful thing. But anyhow, I guess the bottom line and the moral of the story is if you have Stargardt's disease, there's a lot of devices that can be, uh, to be, can be prescribed for that to help a person see much better. Uh, next video I'm going to do on Stargardt's, I want to talk a little bit about um, some other things that can be done. Have any comments or questions, leave them here. Look forward to talking to you soon.